Hello everybody, Garrett Grover with Rise Armament here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the basic considerations when picking a barrel. In today's market, there is an unlimited selection of barrels. The most common discussion that I encounter is what is the appropriate barrel length for my intended purpose. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of that right now. If you're building a pistol or maybe a short barreled rifle, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to go with a shorter barrel, like this little seven inch barrel, or maybe a 10 inch barrel. With a shorter barrel, you're typically gonna get a shorter gas system. This is done to achieve appropriate dwell time, which is another video, and ensures proper cycling of the gun. The most common gas length or gas system length that you see in a short barrel anywhere from Usually 11 inches and shorter is a carbine length gas system. And anything below seven inches, you're normally gonna see a pistol length gas system. And what that does is it ensures that enough gas bleeds through your gas tube before the bullet exits the muzzle in order to cycle your gun. The most common barrel length is a 16 or 16.1 inch barrel. It complies with the ATF and the NFA, and it's really a very good all-purpose barrel. I have two samples here. One has a carbine length gas system, and one has a mid-length gas system. The carbine length gas system is great because it absolutely ensures that that gun is gonna cycle. However, for most applications, it's more gas than you actually need. And that's where the mid-length gas system comes in. For a 16 inch barrel, a mid-length gas system is great because it allows you to achieve the appropriate dwell time without overgassing the gun too bad and wearing out your gun faster. Next, we move on to the big boys, like this 18 inch or this 20 inch barrel. These barrels have a rifle length gas system, which once again is a much longer gas system. You still achieve appropriate dwell time, but you're not feeding too much gas into the gun, making your gun cycle harder and increasing recoil and wearing the gun out. You'll notice the longer the gas system, typically the smoother the gun cycles and the less recoil you actually feel. Now let's talk about some of the markings on the barrel. Almost every barrel you buy is gonna have several markings on it, which is a twist rate, manufacturer, model number, and the chambering. The chambering is extremely important because you don't want to put a 300 blackout barrel on a gun that you intend to shoot 223 through or vice versa. Twist ratio is something that I get a lot of questions about. Why a one in seven twist? Why a one in nine twist? Why a one in 11 and a quarter twist on a 308 barrel? Twist ratio is important when determining what bullet you're going to shoot. Typically in law enforcement and duty use and competition use, we shoot heavier bullets, and a faster twist ratio is normally more appropriate for heavier bullets. It increases stability at long range and enhances accuracy. Barrel profile is another big question that I get. Why not get a heavy barrel? Why get a lighter barrel? Heavier barrels typically will handle heat a little bit better and tend to be more rigid and therefore have less barrel whip and will be more accurate under stressful conditions in most instances. Fluting is nice because you kind of get the best of both worlds. Fluting reduces weight and increases cooling surface while not sacrificing any of the rigidity of the barrel. If you're looking for a gun to maybe keep in your truck or as a home defense gun, or maybe even as a duty gun, something that you're not gonna be shooting very, very far and that you might be negotiating in say a building or an urban environment, then a shorter barrel is probably gonna be a good choice for you. If you just want a general all-purpose gun, the 16 inch barrel, is pretty hard to go wrong with. If you're looking for a hunting gun, maybe you want a coyote gun or a deer rifle, I recommend something with a longer barrel, maybe an 18 or a 20 inch barrel. So these are just some of the basic things to consider when making your barrel choice. At Rise Armament, we have 223 Wild, 300 Blackout, 308, and 6.5 Creedmoor. I hope this video has helped. 
For more information on this topic and others like it, please check out our website at www.risearmament.com. Also check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks.